The word brachiated or brachiation is the act of locomotion a primate uses to swing from vine to vine or bar to bar. You know, monkey bars, Tarzan on a vine. Because if you're swinging to the future, right, and you grab that vine of the future and you don't let go of legacy, what happens? You stop moving. And so this is the strange point we find ourselves in, and this is why I'm excited for this industry, is the future is here. The way of changing and the revolution is here, but we gotta let go of some of the ways we've been doing business in the past. After the Vietnam War, we created Red Flag, Top Gun, those types of environments to create large ranges with dissimilar platforms to do real air-to-air -air training. The problem we have today is our enemies have got the same technology that we have, and our ranges really don't provide the same experience they used to. You're never going to get rid of creating that real environment to go out there and drop weapons, fire air-to-air -air missiles, really practice generating and pushing your aircraft to the limits. They're not large enough with airspace. We don't want to give away all our capabilities by radiating in free space. So it's driving us more and more to how do we go into a virtualized synthetic environment to allow us to do that training that we think we'll see in combat. Orlando is kind of the epicenter for modeling simulation and training. And so that helps shape all the technology that's here in Orlando for Team Orlando. So we've all grown up playing video games um, and learning particular skills. Um, this is all ingrained in our culture. We sit here within partnership buildings. Um, these partnership buildings house both uh, military and University of Central Florida researchers and academics. And we are all part of this uh, concept called Team Orlando. And Team Orlando is bringing together all the services with the academic side with some of our industry partners all working together to improve modeling simulation. My kids grew up with the iPads and the iPhones. It's a digital age. VR is not uncommon. Rapid change is the norm right now. So yes, VR, AR technologies are huge importance in the way we innovate moving on because that's what this generation is used to. You know, technology is catching up. We cannot slow down that is important for us to keep innovating, keep advancing, because it's a complex environment. It's critical. It's critical that we work for the 2030 fight. Everything that we're doing today is creating the realism necessary to fight the future fights and the expandability to incorporate the threats that will be coming versus dealing with yesterday's fight. Uh, it tends to be a history lesson we learn the hard way over time but you have to be ready for what's coming next, and that's what the simulated environments we're trying to create are going to drive us to.